Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's Run Disney Training Update video. I haven't decided like what the sequence is going to be of these videos, but today is technically week four for Dopey Training. My training right now is focused on the Halloween half marathon training in September. I believe once that is over, then I like pick up where everyone is for Dopey, but technically it's week four for the Dopey Challenge training, which is like so crazy. Um, but I have nine and a half miles this weekend, technically two miles the first day, nine and a half the second day. I am going to be moving those around just a tad because we have plans on Sunday now and yeah i don't want to run nine and a half miles on a sunday i get why they do that but i'd rather have my long runs be on saturdays and so i'm just i'm just adjusting until like i have my full like three days in a row the simulations for those weekends but that's besides the point so today is thursday i've already ran my first run this week but today I have to show you something that I'm really, really excited about. Literally just came in the mail. Um, but first I'm going to shoot you over to me on Tuesday to tell you about how that ran went. And then we will talk about today's run and then Sat Friday and Saturday. Alrighty, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss a magical moment here at home or at the theme parks. And let's get started. Okay, today is Tuesday, July 23rd. Just got done with a 45 minute run. This past weekend, we went to Kansas City and so I didn't run on the weekends. I did all of my runs Monday, Wednesday, and Friday last week. And I have, so I haven't ran since Friday. Today's Tuesday, which like normally, I don't think it, would be a big deal um but that was tough that was a tough run not like physically mentally it was really tough i got started a little later than i wanted to please just ignore what's going on, on top of my head um got started a little later than i wanted to and then i always like to pre-pick my 45 minute runs on peloton didn't really do that today and so I like just picked one that I thought would be good I didn't know I did not know one song that she played like not her not Bex's fault but I like, just couldn't really like get into it I like using my shocks they were dead once I got down there I was like okay not using those and it just like I didn't love the run like class um setup in general and so I like with 30 minutes left I think not even 15 minutes left I just grabbed my like interval guy and I did that for the last 15 minutes of class and then ran well I just like ditched it and ran like the last four minutes so felt good my pace was great I feel like it was good, like the same as always. Um, so like physically I felt good. Mentally, I was just like out of it. I couldn't get into it today for some reason, but coming here to say that's okay. Not every single run is gonna be like the best run ever, but I did it and I'm done now. And guess what? I'm really happy that I completed it. And I showed up for myself today and we got it done. So trying to like test out <laughs> gummies or like supplements I don't even know if that's the correct term for my super long runs and so I got these salt sticks they're like electrolyte fast chews and they have like sodium potassium calcium magnesium um, you're supposed to take two tablets every 15 to 30 minutes um, during your run so I tried watermelon today there's watermelon I just got the like variety pack, 
um, tropical mango, lemon lime, and then there's one, okay, so there's two of each of those, and then orange, and then coconut, pineapple, green apple, mixed berry, and then peach. So, tried the watermelon today, and it was okay. I like started to like let it dissolve in my mouth, and then it was like pretty good, and then I started chewing it, and I think that was when we went wrong. I thought they were gonna be more like gummies, but they're more like a tablet, kind of like a Tums, and I hate Tums, but it didn't have like the aftertaste of the Tums, so we'll see. I'm gonna give them a go. I'm gonna like try them out. If you have any recommendations, let me know. The gels gross me out. I've never even tried one, but I feel like that would just be gross right? Like, think about it. We can't think about it. Um, also I feel like I always wear this shirt when I run, but it is just so comfortable. This is actually Jackson's. Mine is like the V cut. And that's what I'm also deciding if I want to change my shirts to be like the men's cut without the V cut, but they're really cute in pictures. So got to balance it out. So like I said, Tuesday's run was okay. I am planning on watching the new Simone Biles doc today. So I think that will like get me re-motivated to run. But I am going to show you what I got now for my races. I am so pumped. Like I have been wanting this, these for a while. And I finally did it. Have used me as your travel agent this year. Thank you. These are sponsored by you. Um, travel agents do not make a lot of commission, barely anything on some trips to be totally transparent. If you book like a deluxe resort, um, then it's like, then it is more. But if it's a value, maybe $15, depending on where you're staying, how long you're staying. So thank you for all of my clients that helped sponsor my new running shoes. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and ignore everything behind me. But I am really excited about these. So I have ran all of my run Disney races. I don't remember what the first shoes I wore during my first ever 5K at Disney. But all of my other longer races I have used on cloud or like on running shoes. I love them. They work great for me. Finding a shoe is a very like personal experience. <laughs> Not to get like too weird, but it is. And so I've always wanted to go to the running store, but honestly, like these work for me and I know these work for me. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on until they don't work for me anymore. So I went with the purple. These are the, these are the Cloud Tech On Running or Cloud Runner shoes. And I'll link these in the description down below. These are also great for the parks. I have these in like a green and I, to be completely transparent, they look more purple online than they do in real life, but they are still really cute. I'm excited to wear them. Um, I wore a 10, I got big feet. And so I feel like they're true to size, I would say. The one pair I got were like waterproof that I was gonna wear in the parks. I got those in a 10 also, and those were a little snug. I really wish I I should have returned them, to be honest. Um, I'll just have to wear them with like a smaller sock, which is fine. And then I wanted to try a different style. So I wanted to try a different style for my other shoe, just to see if I would like that better. And so I went with the Cloud Stratus. This is supposed to be for like more of the long runs, trail running, um, road running. And so I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing. I'm running on roads, so we're gonna go with it. Um, but these were like a little orangey vibe, which I thought was cute. I'm very into like my outfits when I run and my races and like my race costumes. And so I almost got the black, I didn't. Um, but I thought these were like neutral enough to work with anything. And then purple is my favorite color. So we had to get these ones. The more I look at it, 
they're definitely purple. I think when I pulled them right out of the box, they like looked blue to me, but they're definitely purple, 100%. So I am, I think I might run with these tomorrow. Uh, I have my night, so I have two miles. I'm technically supposed to do two miles Saturday, nine and a half Sunday. I'm gonna do two miles Friday, nine and a half on Saturday. Um, and then I'll have Sunday off. I just, I feel like I wanna use these, but I know I have to like break them in. I don't even know how to break in shoes. I guess you just kinda gotta wear them. Um, maybe I'll Google that just to make sure. So, exciting new shoes. So now I have three solid pairs of running shoes going into my race weekend in September, which that is like where I wanted to be going into um, my first weekend, just, just in case, you just never know. And now I need to focus on costumes. I have, let me preface, okay. So I haven't, I don't think I've talked about this yet, but we're going to Walt Disney World first and then I'm flying from world to land, which is like kind of fun. But we're doing Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So like I have to figure out those costumes too, but I'm pretty sure I'm good. I just have to, um, do like my silhouette machine and vinyl something on a jacket for my costume. I already have the dress, the ribbons, all of those are good. Jackson's I've ordered, had to reorder him his bottoms, which is like fine. I th so I think we're good there. We're keeping it pretty simple this year. I feel like last year we were Rapunzel and Flynn and I'll put a picture here. It was really, really cute. We got a lot of compliments. Um, but this year, this will be fun. This year will be fun, cooling. It won't be too hot of a costume to wear. So that is like the biggest hurdle is finding something that's comfortable to wear in the parks. But running costumes, I still need to figure out and finalize. I need to, yeah, I don't know. I have an idea of what I want and I need to get something bought because a lot of this stuff takes a while to get in. So that's like a whole thing. But next Tuesday, we also have princess registration. And so I'm like trying to take into account that money <laughs> that I have to spend next Tuesday. And so I honestly like just might wait a little bit um, to get my costumes done or like just figure out what I wanna do for those. So I will catch you before or after my run. All right, getting ready to go run. I think I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna use these ones today. I really wanna use them, so. That's the ones we're gonna go with. Also, headphones are charged, ready to go. I'm gonna go do a stretch, and then we're gonna get on the tread and go do our 45 minutes. So, let's get going. So I've just been like doing like the five minute pre-run warmups, and then I normally do like a full body stretch after if I have time or I'll do it later in the day. But shoes are on. There's my cute doggy. I normally don't wear my shoes during the warm up just for the fact that I've worn my shoes outside and I don't like to wear them in the house. But these feel good. They're so cute. Like adorable. I love them. But let's get this warm up going. Okay, and then I tried these last time, like you saw. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use them today. I just step off the tread because there's a light and it's terrible lighting, but I, TMI, we're all friends here. I sometimes have like GI issues. And so today is not a great day for us regarding that. Um, but uh, that is why not okay. so that is why i'm kind of hesitant <laughs> to have these today granted my whole thing is like normally to be totally transparent i don't know why i say that because i'm always totally transparent <laughs> i probably wouldn't do a run today if like i wasn't training if i was just gonna like work out just like because how my stomach is feeling but technically these are not supposed to hurt your stomach. So if anything, we can try it because I need to know like on race day, if my stomach is feeling the way it's feeling today, I need to know if I'm okay to take these. So that's why you practice 
these things at home when you have tummy problems sometimes. So I'm gonna get on the tread and I will see you after my run. See like, yeah, the light is right there. Welcome to our basement. It's not organized. It's getting there though. I'm working hard, working hard. We're gonna have some visitors in October. So I gotta get this space ready for them. Um, but yes, anywho's, I will see you after my run. Okay. Whew. All right. Run is done. It was good. I think I got like 3.3 something miles. Um, oh my gosh, though. Talk about emotional during the Simone documentary. It was great to run to because it was distracting, but like, holy smokes, hits me right in the feels. But we are, we're real sweaty now. I have very long hair and it always just cracks me up that like I can get it into that little baby bun. Um, but yes, yeah, so run done, shoes, shoes were good. I was feeling a little tingly in my toes and my feet were hurting a little bit, but you gotta get them broken in. So we will keep on keeping on and I will see you for two miles tomorrow. Also did want to quickly mention that I did have the like fast shoes again during this run and they were fine. Stomach survived, so good to know. <laughs> okay, today is Friday and I normally don't run on Fridays, but I have a two run weekend. So like every other weekend you have to run Saturday and Sunday. I hate running on Sundays. I know eventually I'm going to have to and just like go to church Saturday night, but I'm gonna do two miles today and then nine and a half tomorrow morning. But I was just making my lunch. Fridays are a little weird because my break time is actually during lunchtime um, because we get off at three o'clock on Fridays. Then I have a meeting at one and I don't wanna like take a break the last hour of the day if I don't have to. So I'm eating lunch now and then I'm gonna run. I'm confident that I can get it in within the hour, but I wanted to show you what I was having for lunch. So I bought like these little pretzel things for 4th of July and clearly we're at the end of the bag. But I just have a wrap. We made buffalo wings last night. Just like the boneless ones from Sam's or Costco. We had a couple leftovers, so I just put those in a wrap. And then I had this and I also had a cheese stick. One thing I'm trying to do a better job of is eating and making sure that I'm fueling my body correctly. And I'm trying to like get in more protein. I don't do a great job of eating breakfast, but I bought like the little egg bites from Costco. So I feel like I need to eat those in the mornings. At least when I run, I normally just like have a cup of coffee and that's it. So I'm gonna start doing a better job of that. But I was sitting here and thought that I would show you what my lunch was for the day. If you have any suggestions on foods, let me know because I found Amanda that I follow. I've talked about her a lot once upon a marathon. She posted some like running cookbooks. So I think I might buy those, but I really want to meal prep and I really want to not have to think about what I'm making for lunch every day <laughs> or dinner at that matter. All right, starting my two miles gonna watch the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, let's get going. And I did, two and a quarter. There's my, my half woman, she's biking with me. Big route today, nine and a half, let's go. Okay, seven and a half miles in. Whew, big hill right here. So we're just walking this baby. Um, <laughs> Electrolytes, really helpful. I didn't bring enough, so I didn't take them every 30 minutes, but I definitely feel a difference when I'm taking them and when I'm not. So definitely recommend. Got one mile left. Shout out to my mom up there. She's been riding her bike with me this whole time. She's a real OG, but we're doing it. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. 
during week four of dopey training who knows what week for perfect season training but i am really happy to take you along let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below about run disney or the training that i'm doing i'd be happy to answer those for you but i hope you guys have a magical rest of your day please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a magical moment and i will see you real soon bye